Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 4 of my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. And one of the first things I want to do here is I want to make an alloy kiln. That way I'm not beholden to the smeltery. Excuse me, to uh, to make some alloys. And, by the way, new house. And I actually have a sorting... Oh, why is that in here? That should be... In here, that's like my tools bin. There we go, and I can go away. Oh, awesome, I got a, another quest completed because of that, and let's uh grab some charcoal. I mean, tiny charcoal to put into here as a fuel source. And let's see. I don't actually have a whole lot of ingots. A lot of bronze, mind you. Uh, I don't even have gold here. Oh, I could make some gold. I have a feeling I'm going to need some Electrum sometime soon. I might as well at least get a bit of a jump start on it. There we go. And then here I've got two blocks worth of iron. Made up some black quartz, finally. And I got a really good sword off of a, a zombie. Alamite Broadsword. I went ahead and uh, traded out for a wooden tool rod so it's got ecological on it and yeah the so mining level obsidian you know too bad it you know wasn't the sword blade because i probably would have melted that thing down now peridot i'm curious about uh peridot is not a valid material okay well there you go then appetite um let's see i've got my pick up to fortune two now which it's helping a bit and let's see, got some gold plates, copper plates, aluminum plates. Let's see, that's what, 18 iron in here. So, get another, I'll just put all that away. Get another nine iron going. It's 27 and then five more, and I can make... Uh, for more large place to get some more basic machine casings going, because I would like to get a little bit going with the uh, IC2 stuff. And making coal coke and creosote. Downside of that is, I don't have a whole lot of ways to store creosote currently. I could hook up the pump, but cans are easier. And I need neck any what? I just wondering if I turn at the right angle, then I like that disappeared, but probably just seeing stuff. Also, I should probably go ahead and condense this down. Don't particularly need iron nuggets for anything. Oh, I was going to uh, also Osmine pick and get faster now, so 9.5 to 15.5 mining speed. I can, I can deal with that. Some more lead, some silver... Bunch of copper. It's more osmium, which eh, is what it is. But something else I should work on while I'm here. Uh, do I have any flint left? Doesn't look like it. So blocks. Uh, let's see. Sort. Am I out of gravel too? Ooh, that's that's no bueno. But I need a pencil pattern chest. So why are you not doing the thing now? You are. I guess never mind. I'm just, just tired or something. I don't know. There's that. There's that. Let's go ahead and grab some charcoal. Make it tiny. And fill up our furnace here. One of the things I like about Cyclic is you can basically punch, you know, left click a furnace with fuel and it'll it'll add fuel to it. Left click it with, you know, something to cook and it'll cook it up. You know, I could be doing... For some reason I have had it in my head, this is like Age of Engineering, where furnaces didn't smelt ores down. Oh, well, it's... Stuff for plates is not a bad idea, but 
go ahead and put that away. I'm going to need one of these. But I want to get a sharpening kit. I can probably make one out of Certus. So, sharpening kit. Yep, here we go. Because uh, the quest for getting started here, this actually wants an obsidian sharpening kit. So, go and start pouring those out. And I got myself a ladder down to a mine shaft, which is where I just got the sword at. It's also where I died last time. I thought these could be materials. I guess not. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. <laughs> Stuff. Uh, electrum should be done. Awesome. It can go in here for now. Uh, mob drops. Uh, this is like plant and food stuffs for now. Armors. Everything I have is broken, so... And I am burning through the cake right now. The red velvet cake. And I like how when you're eating through it, actually, it's the, the frosting's like dripping. But I need to get my hands on some obsidian. But easy money on that is I in here. Got a bucket. Run out here because it's nighttime. With that. How safe are we? Yeah, relatively safe. Okay. Do some harvesting of sugar cane. Now this thing's not the strongest sword. It takes two crits to take down a zombie, but it's uh, seven base damage, I think. Which is eh, not terrible. Oh, let's see, I don't want to eat those. I thought you could turn like regular pumpkins into like pan pumpkins. Oh, a wooden bowl, I can make pumpkin stew. That's an idea. And I'm going to play around with the roofs eventually for uh, this house, but I haven't decided if I want to put a second story on it yet or not. Alright, so I've got some food I can take with me. And this is kind of my miscellaneous. I have no idea what to do with that. You know stuff right now. I decided to countersink my coke oven. And I figured worst case scenario, I'll just take out 3x3 three three there and I'll put the blast furnace right on top of it. Alright, so you're cooling off and... Eh, Quicksilver. Downside, I don't really have a place to put it right now. Oh, no, not the pumpkin stew. That. I can go into here, because that's where my, like, sulfur is, too, I guess. And, yeah, let's put some of this away into there. There. Now I have a little bit of room in here. You're done? Awesome. Yeah, I died twice in a row, and I swear it was the same zombie. But... Yeah, it's my spawns at my bed out there, which I need to move my bed in here, but I figure second story, that would be a, a decent bedroom. Here, let's just do that. And I heard lots of, you know, movement around, stuff like that, so I come up here and this is where I died. And there was a water stream here at one point in time, too, which just made things even worse. But we have lithium ore here. Oh, also there's a monster box I didn't take out. Right? Yep. We got thorium. So it means there's a pocket of nuclear craft ores down here, which is awesome because it means I don't have to find it. Come on, kill the witch first. Thank you. Is that my last torch? That was really my last torch, wasn't it? Oh well. Hey look, Sapphire. Uh, what broke? Ah, oh, my boots. Okay. Yeah, they had like three durability on them when I put them on. It was just one of those things like, eh, it's better than nothing. 
So, how did the pathway go now? I think it was over this way. Charge service requires cobalt. And then it was, yeah, down this way. Lava pool. Looks to be a fairly decent sized one, too. Did I just... Okay, I used up the wooden bowl doing that. And obsidian is Osmium level. So let's take that stuff out so I can... And you know what? Let's just... Uh, let's put that like dead center there. That covers most of it. There's a reason I just put more redstone on this pick. Advancement made, Ice Bucket Challenge. Alright, now it's going to be dark as I'll get out here for a second. Come on. There we go. Hmm, diamonds. Uh, eight of them. Nice. And let's just grab that. And I actually ran out of cobblestone building that house, so I might as well just grab a few extra here. There. Now there's some light back there, though, which eh, it'll help a little bit anyway. At least I'll be able to see things coming for me. All right, so oh, copper. Yes, please. I'll take that. I probably should take a break from mining here soon, or I just repair my pick, actually. But I'm kind of thinking that maybe putting another portal down here might not be a bad idea. At least it's far away from my base, I'm not going to hear it constantly, like, thrumming at me, I guess you could call it. Well, th oh, cool thing Cyclic does, if you look up while climbing a ladder, you'll climb up without touching the, uh, the keys. And you do preserve momentum. Alright, so probably two of these we should do. And I'm not going to bother putting anything else in there for now. Alright, let's uh, get some of this stuff put away. Uh, that and that's probably good. And let's just do up an osmium. Have some cake. Uh, I died a couple times, so my stats went to crap again. I'm trying to use a cake to get my dairy up, because it's going to be a while till I can get decent amounts of dairy on a regular basis. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure where my glass bottles are, but that's where they should be. Actually, I put them in here. Whoops. Alright, and nope, nothing there. And then, mo yeah, mob drops. Let's grab that, grab those uses. There we go. And they're actually in here still, aren't they? Yep. They should be in there. I'll just put that in there for now. That'll work. Make sure I have the right thing down. And it did take, yep, yeah, okay, good. Did take both blocks. Cool. And it's going to go right back in there because I don't want. Sharpening kits tend to monkey with, uh... oh, cool, flint and steel for free. With stuff. So, cobalt orb can be found rarely in the nether. Ardite will also complete the quest as they both have a harvest level of cobalt. All right. Cobalt and then Manulin. I think that's Osgo glass. Enderium. Can't remember after that. That's Chaotic Tear. Awakened. Supremium. I can't click ahead to check, so. But Immersive Engineering, we did the Alloy Kiln, so let's go ahead and claim that. 
And we got ourselves an experience pylon. That, I like that. For his experience. I was actually thinking about making one, and there we go. Go ahead and eat some more cake. Uh, you are thawing out, or uh, thawing out, melting. Same difference, right? So, pulverized obsidian. Can I melt this? Uh, I can imbue it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 24 millibuckets. But probably not worth it. So, is an alamite pick mining level obsidian? Damn. Well, actually, would obsidian. Obsidian pick is mining level obsidian. Okay. So, alamite would work. And to make that, we need a squeezer. No. <laughs> now we're good there. <clears throat> Smelting, alloying. Here we go. Five parts aluminum, two parts obsidian, and iron. Okay. And please tell me I have enough aluminum left. I have like no aluminum. I have one aluminum. And I have no. Yeah, I turned it all into everything else, looks like. Let's go ahead and put that and that into there. And... Uh, let's go to... Yeah, about here. My level 51, there should be... Well, there's copper here. Limestone. More copper. Iron. I can't see already. Okay, that didn't take long. Alright, torches. Uh, let's see. Should be... Nope, none in there. I've been putting my extra sticks, so... It's only four sticks, though, isn't it? Eh, it'll work for now. Uh, we got quite a bit of copper, though. That's pretty handy, actually. Hey, we got one ingot, a molten aluminum. Oh, aluminum, not alamite. Derp. All right, so can I find something besides copper, please? I mean, I'm not complaining about the copper. I'm complaining about the lack of aluminum. Like that. Got me three. Oh, one short. I think that water rushing sound actually might be from that ravine. Oil shale, huh? Hmm. And it... Yeah. There we go. It makes a, a, a flowing oil block when you mine it. So you just wait for it to disperse and you should be okay. I think I'm digging... Yeah, I should be digging parallel to that ravine right now. What do you get from the oil shale, anyway? Uh, 17 bitumen. Alright, cool. More coal? Sure, I'll take it. And clay. A little bit worried about that clay, and then the dirt right above it. it. Makes me wonder if that's at the bottom of a pond or something. Oop. Always doing that. I need... Or aluminum. Which, thank god, it melts stupidly quick. That'll give me three ingots of molten alamite. A sharpening kit. Both the pick and then the ingot. 
Pick. I'll also I'll see him. And that almost fully repairs it actually. Thought I hit the Oh, guess not. And drop off that I think there we go. So it adds 200 durability, bumps mining level and mining speed up, attack goes down a slight bit. <clears throat> Trades out dense and well-established for global, global Traveler. Dense is to last longer when it has less durability. A tool, there we go. All right. And we got a pretty pink ingot. We can use to repair something later on. Uh, here, let's just go ahead and this and there. Put that into there for now. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and cook that up because I have no actual need for the uh, black quartz. But. Uh, let's go ahead and make a 3x3 three three portal, just because it's easier to center and whatnot. And should I be making anything? No, honestly, by rights, I probably should be. But, yeah. Not always the thing. So, there's Y16, and then, here we go, Y10. And to think, I started all of this just... I can get some rock crystals, maybe do a little bit of astral stuff. Two, three, four, five. Hey, yeah, cool. Hmm, don't you love it when you miscount? Like, oh yeah, this would be about perfect for a portal. And then it's like, ah, uh, yeah, nope. Off by just a hair. Alright, and I got a crystal there at 51 meters. There at 18. Hmm. So before I head in... 35. I have a hard time reading blue for some reason. Alright, just give me that. Hey, advancement made, and Ryo basics. Um, where are you at? Here you are. Okay. Hey, we're at bedrock. nighttime. I should have brought my resonating wand. Oh, there it is. And I just got four of these guys. 208, 290, 213, 132. Quest complete. And I have a nice little uh, area that I can uh, grains of an infinity it up later on. Now if you just hold this all the way up you, uh, you launch yourself pretty good. So I need five marble. I need rock crystal. I need two aquamarine. Uh, let me just grab a couple more. And I need my resonating wand. Let's get that put away. And we're going to run out here now. Go. Oh god, there's, there's things everywhere. is breaking all the time. Um, no helmet and no boots now. Come here, spider. Thank you. And I need... Hey, nano suit helmet. I'll take it. Chisel.
All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to need three. Uh, I need, let me look it up. Light well. I need three ruined and two chiseled. Ruined. Chiseled. And I can just do like that. Doesn't really matter what rock crystal you use. And wave your wand. Hey, quest complete light well. And I do that now. It'll start producing liquid starlight for me. They do eventually break, so I don't want to mess with those guys right now. Just grab that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of the stuff away. I don't think I need that with me. These guys into here for now. Honestly, don't need the bow. You need some booties though. And eh, leather's better than nothing, I guess. And you don't actually give anything, do you? Might as well just keep going on the fruit. If I can get my fruit above 90, it'll give me some bonuses. Well, if I can get any of my food groups above 90, it'll give me bonuses, but... I do have some raw mutton here that might not be a bad idea. And... Over the top of my smelter, I put a couple drying racks. Give that torch back. Black quartz can go away. And the reason I came back in here, actually, was because I need my bucket. Empty that thing out. Oh, hi. Sweet, level my sword up. And we're at 620 ish? Okay. Alright, I need. I need gold. I need two marble. I want to make a Fosic resonator, so that'll give me something to do off camera in the next couple of nights. And what it does is while you hold it. It'll show you relative concentrations of starlight. And you want a strong, you know, strong concentration to put your altar in. But it's not going to happen tonight. Well, it only works at night. So, actually, I gotta get that backwards. So, since... Jeez. Creep your head. Uh, since the moon's setting, yeah, it's not going to happen tonight. I may not be able to make this thing until the next night, actually. But 930. Keep an eye on that creeper to the left there. Nine seventy eighty. Ninety and seven thousand. Oh, cool. Look what Starlight was a quest too. And son of a I'll be back for you, Creeper. Should not put that away. Oh, hi. You about face pretty damn quick there. Was not expecting that. Oops, I need that. Yeah, cool. Bosic Resonator get. Too late in the day, though, for me to, uh... Find, a. Uh, Starlight concentrations, unfortunately. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Let's get inside here. Let's uh, dump some stuff out of our inventory. And I think the game is stuck on one, <clears throat> one song here. Which is not a bad song, mind you, but we're going to uh, do that. Okay. Quests. 
turned it off and the music just came back on. So Astral Sorcery. Got our rock crystals. Uh, light Well. Yeah. Use produce liquid starlight. You can place a rock crystal or aquamarine in it. Wait towards liquefy. It only progresses during the night. Uh, not always, actually. But, yeah. Liquid starlight bucket. Sure, why not? And then the Fosic Resonator. Highlight areas receive a larger than normal amount of starlight, but only at night. 90% of Astral Sorcery is at nighttime. <clears throat> Flux Crystal Block. Cool. Cup of coffee. And I could eat some now, but I'm not going to. Fish and chips. All right, we're getting some food. And shulker shells. Ooh. I can make a rainbow cannon eventually. Advance to big item filters. That's probably what I'm going to save these things for. Or shulker box upgrades, but see, I don't really I could care less about shulker boxes. I mean, except for the fact that they can be upgraded, they're really no different than, you know, forge crates. But, there's that. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna put this, like, there. The Futhark rune. I can't remember which one it is. Alright, uh, let's see. Well, we just blitzed, like, a quarter of Astral Sorcery in one night. Quest-wise, anyway. So, I see two. It wants a bat box next, huh? Or a generator. Yeah, I'll hold off on that for a second. Uh, look over here. Thermoelectric, blast furnace, kinetic dynamos. Getting started wants cobalt. Uh, blast furnace bricks, blast bricks. You want nether brick, right? Yeah, brick, nether brick, and blaze powder. All right, looks like we need to go to the go to the Nether. And now, see, industrial craft can also make steel, but that requires a power setup, roughly. Oh well, no, there's there is the uh, the solid fuel firebox that would work too, I think. But I need a bunch of creosote oil, so I'll be making coal coke. Mmm, meat. Also, forgot about these. Turn those off, please. Another iron ore. The thing. Yep. There we go. I hate escape when I probably shouldn't have. Just stock mushrooms. Squishy, squishy stuff here. Ooh, magma blocks. Another X got a harvest level of iron. I mean, if you're really persistent, you could get here before, you know, before now. Oh, you get here without an iron, too, when you get down to it. Uh, another uranium. Now, these flesh blocks actually have some uses to them as well. But there's 52 Nether so far. Hmm. Is that cobalt there? It is. I like that. That's kind of cool looking. Oh, dang it, I let go. And one cobalt ore. Also, 25 nether quartz. So, oh, well, maybe more. 26. I think it's stuff's hiding in here. That is nether silver, which requires a manual and pick. Uh, before I go too much further away. I would like to be able to find my way home, please. Thank you. Oh, that's more another quartz. That is why I brought cobblestone along. Shiny. And somebody's calling me. Be right back. All right. So, gotta love wrong numbers. Oh, crap. Oh, and I just angered the pigmen. But I just vain mind a lot. Hi! <laughs> I heard you coming. Uh, yeah, I've been mind a lot of uh, netherrack, so... I can get around to picking that up. 
And I've got like three magma blocks. Let's go ahead and grab some more of those. Nothing else will come in handy for Thomcraft. Which, by rights, I probably should be starting soon. That way I can just do a little bit of it here, a little bit of it there, and I'm not like trying to bum rush a whole bunch of it and get burned out. Thumbcraft. Good in small doses. Oh, hi! <laughs> Heard you last second there. Let's grab that back. And... Yeah, that's Manulin. Yep, okay. So I would like to find some Ardite ore if I could, honestly. Uh, let's check. Oh, nope. I hear you. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're probably gonna drop out of that whole, like, dug bag, so aren't you? Go ahead and eat this and get it out of my inventory. Thank you. This is a cup of coffee with no actual effects, huh? Okay. Uh, it works for grain. Uh, let's see. I got four cobalt. I wanted to check this out. Um, reward is... Uh, probably the evil infuses I'm going to get, and then I'm going to melt it down. Ooh, Prudentium or emerald? Ooh, nice. What parts? Cobalt and ardite. Need another manual and sharpening kit. Once you start using sharpening kits, so you tend to like foul up your your picks. Uh, actually, I need to go over here, go up. Going through caves here because there's no like wide open areas. Iron, silver, magma blocks. Okay. This texture pack, resource pack. I don't even know what uh, the Ardite's going to look like, actually. Oh, hi. Yes, I will take you home. Uh, what little bit I just found. Or, yeah, that's enough to start some nether ward. I got that one that, uh... Oh, hi, openings. Bone block. Hey, achievement made or advancement made. Ha! Firebat. Oh, are you mad at me? You are, aren't you? Oh, yay. Fire. Ah, no. Die. Thank you, and... Oh my god, look at the gas. That's amazing. Ha ha! Return to Cinder. Oh, um... Nope, no gas here, it looks like. Okay. So, ooh, another quartz. And if I do... Gotta make my sword better somehow. Uh, red mushroom? I'll pass on that, really. Don't need it. Ah, uh, all this wonderful squishiness. Makes me glad for coming here. Are you mad? No. Okay. Ah, uh, this is... Oh, that's just lovely, isn't it? Bone blocks? Sure, why not? Oh, blue fire. Ooh, that's right, Biomes Plenty has blue fire. That's Ardite right there. Guarantee it. And of course, it zipped right by me. All right, so 
Now I don't know where I come out at. Silver uranium. Let's leave here and not come back for a while, shall we? 13 by 13 by 13 compact machine. It's large enough for all your Thomcraft needs and prevent flux from spreading to your base. It's actually not a bad idea. I never usually never use compact machines, so. Good. Let's see how far up I can launch myself here. And woo. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's fun. I just had to try that. Alright, let's go ahead and put that away. We're gonna get our sharpening kit cast out. Uh before I eat, I need to Cobalt and Ardite. I missed an Ardite somewhere, because I know there was four up there. And here, let's have some coffee. So we're looking at 47 for grain, 44 for vegetable. I think I was doing pretty decent. And this is grain, protein, and veg. Sweet. Be munching on that for a while, I think. So, go back here. Go ahead and clean this thing. And we're just going to throw it in the box for now, because I don't feel like dealing with it. And where am I at here? I'm at five and a half, or five buckets, so 550. That's one ingot, right? One plus one equals one with cobalt and ardite. So let's go ahead and put that away. Um, might as well get started on making nether bricks. That's going to be 36 of that. And put the soul sand away for now. Now, magma blocks, what can I do with you? Fire resistance modifier from environmental tech. Magma bricks from quark. A fire slayer, extinguishes nearby fire. Good idea. Pattern replicator, copy and paste the selected area. Magma Anvil, repair anything using lava. Structure Builder. Controlled Miner. And Cable Facade. And I can go through and I can pulverize into Magma Cream. Magma Crucible for 40,000 for lava. Which lava can then... Uh, let's see. Actually, they're right here. 120 in Magmatic, so... Eh, not bad. Mechanical drying basin into netherrack. All right. Mechanical squeezer. Uh, world gen light well. Comes lava as well. And then starlight transmutation. Magma blocks into obsidian. I should be sitting on two ingots now. We're going to put that there. Oop. Not the torch, though. Grab our pickaxe cast. And we're going to put that down, put the sharpening kit back in, and do that now. And we're just going to put that stuff there. Only 39 quartz. I'm going to keep hold of that for now, I think. Got a zombie out there moaning at me now. So that's lovely. And it'll eventually melt down. But, so, our manual and sharpening kit here. I'm going to grab the Prudentium. The reason for that is, Prudentium has the Prosperous trait. Uh, let's see if I can just throw that into here. Nope. Uh, prosperous, though, I mean, it's a pretty crappy mining level. But Prosperous trait makes it so that you have a chance of dropping Prosperity shards whenever you uh, you mine anything. Or you, if it's on a weapon when you attack, or yeah. So at that point, well, Mystical Agriculture just got a whole ton easier. Now, where is this guy at? 
Oh, there's a bunch of you guys over here. Oh, that guy's got a rapier, huh? Thank you. Hey, advancement made. Imagination forest. Yeah, all the other gardens I had around here, by the way, they all got creepered. Let's go ahead and, because it should bump my saturation up a bit. And now I have an empty cup that I can refill later. Man, we've row bottom. There we go. So, you are done. In you go. Now, do I still have, I do. Never made a tool rod cast, did I? But I ran out of lava. Oh no, not quite, but getting there. But let's go ahead and go there. And I do have that alamite, right? Uh, I'll just do that. So that'll give me an extra 120 durability. Mining speed goes up by a hair. Damage goes way up. And insatiable. During combat, you deal more and more damage, but consume more and more durability. So do not use that. As a uh, as a weapon, gotcha. All right, so put that away. I'm uh, going to grab my plank. Yep. Make ourselves a, a wooden tool rod. I just make a stone one, honestly. There we go. And. Make a Prodentum tool rod. Prodentium, sorry. Put it on my pick. So, 1360. So, I actually just lost a good chunk of durability. But, make sure tool or weapon randomly drop prosperity shards. That is, it's 100% worth it right there, actually. There we go. And we'll do the same to our shovel. Hell, Prudentium's worse than wood, but oh well. I'm not going to do it to the sword, because I don't really care about that for right now. Let's get that put away, and then that. Okay, next is Osgo glass. Three main mechanism materials. Or metals, yeah, the case may be. But I think that, uh... You get into forestry. Oh, this is just a check mark that I never did. Hey, starting the forestry quest line and sleep charm from Bobbles. I'll wear that. Goes to any slot. It can go in my belt for now. Uh, makes you sleep almost instantaneously. So we're gonna put that away, and then we're going to ink it. That way, I can pour that stuff out of there. But I think it's good point as any. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.